Hi, welcome to Crunchbase University. In today's video, we're going to be going over how you can leverage Crunchbase for your cold emailing. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do after you log in is go ahead and navigate to your save searches. So you can do that by either going to the left-hand menu, clicking on lists and save searches. From here, you wanna find your search that you've previously made with prospects you've established to be a good fit for your target market. You can then add filters to narrow down this list or integrate your CRM so that, that way you can see if any of these accounts have an account owner in Salesforce already, if they exist at all, and then if they do exist and they do have an account owner, what and when the last activity was. Or let's say you want to navigate to a saved list. Let's say you've imported a list of target accounts that you've built in Excel and you want to have, have those enriched with Crunchbase data. So you imported it in, you're going to navigate to that list right here. Now, from this list of accounts that you've already identified as good fits, let's pick one and start writing. On the main company homepage here, you're going to see a few highlights in the middle and a quick overview of some recent news and activity that could be useful in your outreach, as well as any relevant tags or notes that have been added by your teammates. Next, we'll wanna to navigate to the signals and news tab to see if there's anything relevant that we can use or mention in our emails. Keep an eye out for things like acquisitions, fundings, uh, product launches, etc. Now that we've found information and done our due diligence here, let's navigate to the people tab so that that way we can find and unlock the contact information of the individuals who are going to be uh, most relevant for us to reach out to with regards to our project. So once we do, you're going to click view and then the actions button will populate and then you can hear first things first, always push it to Salesforce so we have that data connected to our CRM and you can choose to push it as a contact or a lead. And then what we can do is click again on the actions and click send email so that way we can start writing. From here, as we're crafting our email, a few things to note, we can leverage one of the suggested templates or snippets to pull in company specific crunch based data to ensure that our outreach is both timely and relevant to our prospect. And once we've pulled in that template, you notice that it'll prompt us to insert your company's value prop so that, that way you can quickly personalize this email before sending it out to your prospect. Additionally, you can track this email in your CRM by pasting in your BCC email and you can find that in your Salesforce instance. And then you can go to settings and then paste in that BCC email here always do it and that that way, no matter what you send in Crunchbase, it'll automatically be synced over to that relevant contact in your Salesforce. Here, you can also add in an email signature. And that's how you can leverage Crunchbase for your cold emailing purposes. To view other use cases and learn more about Crunchbase, visit Crunchbase University.